Hello everybody, Brandon here. Um, I wanted to make a video that's a little bit political, um, but it also, the, the general idea spreads beyond just politics. It's really about this, um, this sort of group mentality that I'm finding to be increasingly fucking, not just annoying and irritating to me personally, but like also just like it's self-destructive and it's retarded. Like, I'm, I'm busting out the fucking arsler for this. It's retarded, okay? This, this notion that if you're a part of some kind of group, and this can be political, right? Um, or it can be something that isn't associated with politics, like, um, you know, uh, just any kind of group, essentially. Um, and I'll give, I'll give some examples uh, of what I'm talking about, uh, both political and non-political, um, to demonstrate my point. But it, it, this, this notion that uh, groups have where, let's say there's someone who's fairly popular, you know, at least as far as the group is concerned, and um, they end up in a situation where they've done something wrong, or it turns out that they're kind of a scummy piece of shit. Um, <laughs> there's, there's this thing that happens, and I just don't get it, because it seems so obviously self-destructive that I don't know why anyone would do it. It's it's this thing that happens where, um, like I said, somebody fucks up or somebody turns out to be a piece of shit, and the group will kind of decide that, well, we're not going to talk about that. We're going we're gonna, to, like, quietly try to, like, sweep it under the rug, quiet, quietly distance ourselves, you know, and we're, we're just not really going to talk about it. And I find that to be so stupid and like the opposite of what should be happening because we're gonna we're gonna go for an extreme example right off the bat but this is one of those one of the times that's uh less recent but um still kind of recent where i felt this pretty strongly there was uh an, an infamous you know batch of zoophiles uh in the furry community um, a couple of years back i don't exactly remember when but um, some of them were pretty sick fucks. Uh, I think a couple of them went to prison in their respective countries. Um, one of them made a, uh, pathetic video where he said that, well, I'm not in prison, so obviously I'm innocent, which is not necessarily true. Um, and it, it's sort of implied, uh, I think with some of the documentation people found that basically they're not in prison because there was a statute of limitations thing or something like that, where uh, it's not really that they were found completely innocent. It's just that they didn't have what they needed to, like, put them in prison, right? Which, again, doesn't make you innocent. It just means you didn't go to jail for it. Um, so, anyway, my, my point is, is that these people were sick fucks and should rightfully have been uh turned out by their community being like furries uh because they are uh, they all each one of them identified in the furry community as like their more mainstream uh identity and then in these creepy chat rooms they had or whatever they would talk about the real sick shit that they were like really into right um so what furries should have done and i'm sure there were that there, there were some that did probably I'm, I'm sure there were i hope there were um, they should have said, you know what, you guys are fucking, like, gross, you're sick, and you're evil, because zoophilia is fucked up, uh, don't at me, bro. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think, I, like, it just makes sense to me that you would turn those people out, uh, as a group and say, you are not part of us, fuck you, you are sick, and we do not like this shit, you know, now that it, now that it's out in the open, go away, like, Go to prison, disappear. Like, get the fuck out of here, right? Like, we're not protecting you. That's what should happen. But there were tons of people who would uh, try to act like, no, 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 we can't talk about this because then, uh, like, people will point at us and say, look, they're freaks. You know, these people are in their group. And it's like, okay, you trying to act like they're not and trying to, like, cover it or cover it up or, or try to make it, like, a quiet thing, that makes it look worse. Like, think about it from an outside perspective, right? That sounds infinitely worse to me than everybody, like, amplifying it. Like, in the group, everyone should be like, this guy sucks, right? Like, fuck him. And that, that just seems obvious to me, right? So, uh, recently, 
there's been several dramas where I've noticed the same kind of thing, and, and in these cases they were like more political. Um, so I, I'm not going to talk too much about my own politics here because it's not really the point. But I am going to say I am more left-leaning. So when I when I say what I'm about to say, this is coming from someone who identifies as left-leaning. I am so fucking sick of seeing these left-leaning fuckers and their 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 like just terrible audiences. Um, where, like, they get exposed for doing something fucked up. Like, uh, it, it could be something just, like, really creepy and questionable, like like Vosh's, you know, disgusting folder that he had. It could be something that's a lot more, like, I think, um, something that should just be, like, really open and shut. Like, Keffels is, is uh, you know, getting torn up by Mudahar right now, and then also the people, like, tuning in to check out what's going on with that. Nicholas DiOrio um, is watching through that video. Um, so, like, uh, you know, uh, Keffels is, a, is an example of someone uh, where, where this is happening, where I see, like, tweets from people and stuff who are saying, like, uh, well, well, you know, I can't talk about Keffels because I don't want to, I don't want to go after a fellow lefty. And it's like, why not? Like, are you fucking serious? I'm I'm left leaning, okay. I'm not like I'm not like a Keffels, obviously, or I, I mean I, maybe I should have to spell that out. I am not like a Keffels or a Vosh or one of these fucking people, because you know like I, I have a lot of left leaning politics, I think. Um, but there's things like I'm sure a lot of leftists like that would not want to associate with me, because I say shit like I'll I'll say the word retarded. I don't fucking care, right? Um, I, 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 I love terrible, evil jokes. Um, I do have, like, my personal caveats, I guess. But, like, I think that there's plenty of twisted shit that you can make jokes about. And I'm sure someone like Vosh or Keffels would tell me no. Unless it's something that they approve of, you know, in the case of, like, oh, well, it's okay to, like, you know, fucking dox and, and like, send photos of a guy to himself if he's, like, on the other side, right? But when people do it to me, oh, it's a problem, right? Like, I I hate this, like, definitely, it's, it's like a hypocrisy where it's like, um, we will jump at the chance to slaughter our opposition, right? Um, we will not self-reflect and we will not do the same thing to our own because I guess it's different when we do it, right? You know, one of us turns out to be a piece of shit. Ah, don't talk about it. Just, no, we can't go after one of our own. And, you know, it's not, of course, just leftists who do that. Um, but two, two of the, the recent examples I can think of where, where it was really annoying me, this, like, team sports shit, um, just happened to be left-leaning people. Um, but yeah, I've noticed it with Keffels where there's people that are like, I don't want to go after them because they're, you know, we're both leftists. It's like, I don't fucking see why that's a problem. I do not see why that's a problem. How far are you going to stick up for someone when they keep doing shitty things and when they, like, are a liar? Um, like, how much is too much for you when you'll finally say, okay, now, now I should probably, like do a full like disassociation and uh, and definitely like talk about them right like what do they have to do uh because for me i have lines right where where i'm like these things are unacceptable in any circumstance and i will not make allowances for any of my personal lines i am consistent uh in the face of anything my best friend right who, who I love dearly, I call him my brother, if he did something really fucked up that crosses one of my lines, over, done, right? Uh, those lines happen to be pretty bad things, but the fact that we've been best friends for like 15 years or whatever wouldn't make a difference, right? Because I have conviction, okay? I do not make allowances for people to do shit just because they're my friend or because we share politics or whatever the fuck. I, 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 I don't get how people can, like, rationalize that. I just don't. Um, there's people I used to watch on YouTube uh, where, like, you know, I identified with a lot of things they would say or whatever, you know, lots of things they would talk about. And, um, you know, in some of these cases, these people would cross a line for me. And it would be like, okay, like, sucks. Like, I liked a lot of what you said, but I'm out, right? Like, you... you you have a thing about you that makes you incompatible with me. 
okay? Like, for me to be able to watch you in, like, good conscience or something, right? Um, and, you know, like, if, if I ever, uh, you, you know, gain any kind of viewer base on YouTube or whatever, um, and, and, like, if I started to mingle with any kind of YouTubers, uh, you know, of any caliber, really, um, I wouldn't care uh, a goddamn thing. <laughs> about how famous they were or about how good we got along and like if they invited me on live streams or whatever uh, I, I i do not exempt anyone uh from from my rules basically right um so like g going for an extreme example if you turn out to be like a fucking pedophile right i do not care how much other shit i like about you it's over right that is that is chop that shit right it's severed we are we are no longer on good terms instantly right and there are people who like if someone's turning out to look like bad like that right and i'm not naming any specific specific examples for this but um you know there will there will be somebody who's like ah but like we should go after the other guys right like let's just you know let's just not talk about this one so much because he's one of ours and it's like mm -mm. just makes you look worse i i just don't understand how it's not like completely evident that that is self-destructive and the opposite of what you should be doing. Anyway, I'm I'm rambling officially. I realize that like I'm I'm gonna repeat myself and say the same thing over and over again. So go stop talking. I just wanted to get some of this out, <laughs> some of this off my chest, because yeah, um, this team sports shit is so fucking stupid and so obviously destructive. Um, you, you know, uh, from from an outsider's perspective, like uh, you know, like I could understand how someone who's a little more centered would look at, like, you know, one group or the other doing some of this shit and then being like, oh, God, look, look at them. Look at what they're willing to accept from themselves, uh, but they'll go after other people for stuff that seems less important, right? Um, so, yeah, I, I just, God, it's, it's too much. It's, it's ridiculous. Frustrating. Really frustrating. Anyway, um, that's it. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what I'm doing next because um, I've got a couple of like surprise uh, things on my on my schedule this week, where I was going to do something on Friday and then I couldn't, and I was going to do something tomorrow, but now I can't. So I'm, I made this instead. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll probably do some live streaming or more videos soon. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any thoughts about this team sports shit. Leave a comment, even if you think I'm going to disagree with you. That is fine. I am I am fine with disagreeing with someone. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.